do not turn in your leased car until you watch this video because I'm going to show you how you could potentially put thousands of dollars back in your pocket simply by realizing the positive equity in your leased car. You see, there is a huge misconception out there that when you lease a car, you have to turn that car back in at the end of the lease, and that simply is not true. Most leases have buyout options at the end of the lease, which means that you can buy the car for yourself, or you can sell the right to buy that car to another party, like a car dealership. If you're a little confused, don't worry about it. I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about lease buyouts, and we'll also talk about how to determine whether or not you have equity in your leased car, and if you do have equity in your leased car, I'll show you what options you have, and you can choose the best one that suits your lifestyle and your wallet. So what does it mean to have positive equity in your lease? You see, having positive equity in a leased car refers to a situation in which the current market value of your lease vehicle exceeds the buyout price or the residual value stated in the lease agreement. In other words, the car is worth more than what you would need to pay to purchase it at the end of the lease term. For example, let's just say that I've been leasing a Toyota Highlander for almost three years and my lease is coming to an end. I know that I can purchase the car for $25,000 at the end of the lease term and I also know that Toyota Highlanders that are the same year and trim as mine are selling on the open market for around $33,000. Well, that means I have positive equity in my lease, in this case, roughly $8,000. So what is a lease buyout and does every lease have a lease buyout option? A car lease buyout option is a feature in many vehicle lease agreements that allows the lessee, in this case the person leasing the car, to purchase the leased vehicle at the end of the lease term or sometimes during the lease period for a predetermined price. And this predetermined price is often called the residual value or the buyout price and the buyout price is typically established at the beginning of the lease agreement and is based on factors such as the expected depreciation of the vehicle over the lease term. Now, as an example, let's say that you're leasing a car that currently has a monthly payment of $500 a month, and let's also assume that your lease is coming to an end in approximately two months, and the residual value of your lease car is $25,000. Now, in this instance, your lease buyout amount would be the $25,000, which is the residual value in your contract, plus the two remaining payments of $500 that you have remaining for a total lease buyout amount of $26,000. Now, just because you have the option to purchase your leased car for $26,000 doesn't mean that you necessarily should do that. Ideally, you would only purchase a car or sell it to a third party before the lease ends if you have positive equity in your lease. So who can you sell your leased car to? Now, when it comes to realizing the positive equity in your leased car, you essentially have three different options. You can either buy the car for yourself, or you can sell the car back to a dealer before the lease ends, or you can sell the car to a third party. Now, a couple of things that I wanna clarify here is that when you sell your car back to the dealer before the lease ends, you don't have to go back to the dealer that you bought the car from. For example, if you're leasing a Toyota, you can sell your car to any Toyota dealer in the nation. You are not limited to the dealer that you bought your Toyota from. Now, some leases don't allow you to sell your car to a third party. And what that means is that if you were leasing a Toyota, I couldn't sell my leased car to a BMW dealership or a Honda dealership or a Kia dealership. I have to sell that car back to a Toyota dealership. Another important thing to note is that not all manufacturers allow you to buy your car or realize the equity at the end of the lease term. For example, Tesla does not have a lease buyout option at the end of their leases. You have to return the car back at the end of the lease, regardless of whether or not you have positive equity or not. So make sure you check your leasing contract or give your lender a call and find out what options you have. Okay, so you think you have equity in your leased car. What do you do now? Well, you have a few options and I'm going to explain them to you in detail so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. Your first option would be to buy your leased car 
and drive it for however long you like, or you can buy your leased car and immediately turn around and sell it. As an example, let's say that I bought my lease car for $25,000 because that was the lease buyout amount that my lease contract stated. I also know that vehicles similar to mine are selling for around thirty dollars to $33,000 on places like cars.com and autotrader.com. Now, if I really love my car and I know that it's a reliable car, I can buy the car and drive it around for another two, three, four, or even 10 years. The other option is to immediately turn around and sell the car for a profit. But you have to remember to factor in taxes. You see here in the state of Washington, taxes on a $25,000 car would be approximately $2,500. So my total purchase price would be $27,500. Now, this isn't a bad way of realizing the equity that you have in your leased car but it's not the best way. The second option you have, and in my opinion, a better way of realizing the positive equity that you have in your leased car is to not buy it at all. Instead, what you should do is sell it back to the dealership that is the same manufacturer as your car, or if your lease allows it, sell it to a third party. Let's use the Toyota Highlander example again. I still have two remaining payments on the car of $500 each and the residual value of the car is $25,000, meaning that my lease buyout amount is $26,000. Now if my lease does not allow for third party buyouts, which means that I can't sell it to any other dealer besides a Toyota dealer, what I would do is drive my car to every Toyota dealership within a 50 or 60 mile radius of me and get a quote on what that dealer would be willing to pay for my car. And once I've gathered all of my quotes, I would simply sell the car to the highest bidder. And a couple of things to point out here are that quotes that you get from a dealer are generally good for five to seven days. And I've found that it's always good to make an appointment rather than just showing up to the dealer because the person or persons who are going to evaluate how much your car is worth could be busy. Now, if your lease allows for third party buyouts, this means that you can sell your car to virtually any dealer in the country, including online marketplaces like Carvana and driveway.com. So what I would do is take my Toyota and drive it to the nearest BMW dealership, to the nearest Honda dealership, to the nearest Volvo dealership. Literally, you can get a quote from any dealership and again, sell it to the highest bidder. Now, when you sell your car to a dealer or to an online marketplace, what they will do is write a check for $26,000 to your lender, which is the buyout amount, and then they will write you a cashier's check for the equity that you have in your car. For example, if a dealer is willing to buy your car for $31,000, they will pay off Toyota for the remaining balance of $26,000, and then they will write you a cashier's check for $5,000. $1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you found this video helpful and I really hope that you don't turn your lease car in without first determining whether or not you have positive equity in your car. Because if you turn your leased car back to the dealership and it has positive equity, all you're doing is putting money back into the dealer's pocket and not your own. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. Financial knowledge is power. Please like and follow for more.